So, Hamanations has a new video, huh? So, you're expecting me to watch it, huh? Well, watch it, I will! My dentist disasters! Why? Why am I doing that? My dentist disasters! Well, as a dentist myself, ain't no disasters here. Yes, only I am qualified to review this video. After 14 years in medical school, I have earned this moment. <laughs> My dentist disasters. Are you ready? Are you ready? Cuz I'm ready. It's your boy Robert Eddie K. Haminations three two one Hey, real quick, we've got a new hand plush on pre-order. It's bigger than my head, see? Whoa! And everything else in the store is on sale to make room for some amazing new stuff coming down the pipeline. Click the link below to go check it out. Well, Bryson, I would, but here, here's, here's the issue. I have a hand plush already, and you know the problem with this thing? My camera detects this as a face, and if I put, when I had my hand plush back here, it would focus on the hand plush and not me! So I don't know if I can get one of the new ones, but I'm gonna... Hey, bud! I know the dentist's office can be a little scary, but don't worry, you're in good hands. Let me help you into that seat, and then after I'm done, I'll let you pick a toy from the toy chest. Yay! Okay! Does this hurt? No. What about this? Ah! A little. Uh-huh, and this? Ah! How about this? Ah! And a little bit of that? Ah! And this? Help! 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 What about this? Huh? Ah! Does that hurt? How about some of that? Jeez! <laughs> Listen, we've all been there. We've all been there. <laughs> now, this is a relatable dentist experience. The scrape, though, is the bad. To me, the scrape is the worst. Because the scrape is the thing that gets right up into your gums. And it gets spooky, you know what I'm saying? We're going to get into our dental experiences as we go on. Because I've had a lot of them, let me tell you. What about this? Huh? Does that hurt? How about some of this? Does that hurt? Does that hurt? He did such a good job. Look at that smile. Oh, what a pretty smile. Good job, sweetheart. Yay. I'll get you a treat on the way home. Don't forget to floss. That way, next time won't hurt as bad. No. <laughs> True. Hi, I'm Bryson, and like many people, I have a mouthful of teeth. And with that comes some dental-related trauma. To put it lightly, these pearly whites didn't come without a little suffering. Let's start at the beginning. Little Bryson was irresponsible and had gotten a few cavities from eating too much Halloween candy. And mom took me to the dentist to get the affected baby teeth removed. The numbing shot hurt pretty bad at first, but then I couldn't feel a thing. Huh, I guess that's why they call it a numbing shot. I guess I got, I guess that's why they call it a numbing shot. Wow! That is one of the worst hurts when you go to the dentist and get your teeth pulled, is when you have your, your alley just stuck open like this! You know what I'm saying? And you can't make any sea sounds! I didn't have my first cavity until I was like 16 or something. I guess I was just a really good brusher. I guess I was just a good brusher. But I will say, uh, at one of my first dentist appointments, uh, my dentist had to tell me there's teeth back here as well. Because I used to just. Hey, you, you, hey. Wait a minute. Something incredible has happened. A little longer than a few minutes later. Never mind. What? So, you know what's ironic? I actually ordered some new toothbrushes literally yesterday. I, I wasn't thinking about this video at all. I ordered a, new a bunch of toothbrushes and I thought they'd be at my door by now, but they are not yet. So, if we are using a toothbrush prop, it has to be my current toothbrush, which is not looking so hot. And if your toothbrush looks like this, please get a new one. Don't be like me. Anyways, I would just... And the dentist had to, like, get a, like, teeth, like, dentures, teeth, whatever, example, and show... So, you know how you do this? You have to do this, too. Oh. Because <laughs> I'm dumb. So, there you go. Huh. I guess that's why they call it a numbing shot. Okay, bye. Don't eat anything for three hours or <laughs> you'll bite your tongue. Whoa. On the drive home, I was fascinated with the numb sensation in my mouth, <laughs> wiggling my tongue around and stuff. Then little old me thought it would be fun to bite my tongue lightly. No. It was so weird don't, to not feel anything. Don't, the don't, numbing don't, shot don't, had don't, made don't, me don't, invincible. Don't, 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 don't. Ah! 
As many of you know, I was a very late bloomer. All the other kids got bigger and stronger, and I just didn't. This also caused me to lose my baby teeth very late. At 12 years old, I still had several baby teeth. Wow. Then one day, my mom took me to an orthodontist, and he gave her his spiel about how acting early can help a lot and blah, blah, blah. Oh. She was sold, and they glued some braces on me. Oh, that's where they get you. That's where they get you. Acting early. Is it early at that point? Is it early? Or wait, were, did he have braces while he still had certain baby teeth? Go wait, I got it. We got to we got to keep listening. We got to learn. She was sold and they glued some braces on me while I still had baby teeth. What? Why are you putting braces on them? They're just going to fall out. I guess lying That's to my mom, insane. taking her money and causing me a ton of physical pain without even fixing anything was worth getting paid. That dude was definitely lying through his teeth. Oh! <laughs> wow, that is pretty evil. That is pretty evil. So here's one thing. I guess when you're a kid, you don't really have a choice. Your parents make these decisions for you, like taking you to the dentist or the orthodontist or whatever. But you got to remember, these people are also running a business. They are trying to sell products and services and they get paid when you need help with your teeth. So there are times when people get teeth pulled where they don't need to get them pulled. You really got to know what you're doing. If you're going to go and get teeth pulled, get braces put on, anything like that. Like you really have to trust the orthodontist to know not, you know, to not do any unnecessary treatment. Lying through his teeth. <laughs> Regardless, I wasn't old enough to unlock free will, so it wasn't up to me. So I was resigned to two years of braces scraping into my lips, food getting stuck in them all the time, and oh. terrible pain every time the rubber bands got changed. Ah! Oh, by the way, you can't eat popcorn for two years. <laughs> That's but fine. that wasn't even the worst of it. During this time, the orthodontist decided that I needed even more metal in my mouth and oh. introduced my mom to the palate expander. The purpose of the palate expander was not to introduce you to a wider variety of flavors, <laughs> but to widen your back teeth so they have more room to work with to make your smile nice and straight. Ah! The process begins with the orthodontist gently and lovingly jamming rubber bands in between your teeth and letting them slowly push your teeth apart, giving you a piercing headache and ruthless insomnia. Then he uses the space created by the rubber bands to jam this diabolical metal contraption around your teeth. And then every week it gets cranked three times to push your teeth further apart and cause horrible pain. Ugh, that does sound diabolical. <laughs> I don't think we use that word often enough, by the way. <laughs> that does sound diabolical. Yeah, the whole palate expansion thing with, you know, the width of your teeth, that's controlled by so many things. A big reason why a lot of people nowadays have narrow palates, including myself, I have a decently narrow one, is because human beings beings were designed when we ain't got all this technology. The original human beings had to eat so much raw food and spend like an hour or more every day chewing because our foods were, we didn't cook food, we just had hard food. And as a result, our teeth got stronger and our palates got wider and all of that stuff. But because we now have foods that are super easy to chew, we don't have to chew as much, and so our palate doesn't have to get as strong and wide. And that's a big reason why a lot of people have to get teeth pulled, because our palate doesn't expand enough, and we our teeth are all of our teeth are still coming in, so they still come in at the same size, and then we don't have enough room because our palate has not expanded from doing enough chewing throughout our lives. So yeah, the palate expander was not something that the cavemen had because they didn't need to have it. And this is not the only way to expand your palate, but uh, yeah, that's how we do it sometimes. I hated this thing so much. It hurt all the time, it crowded my mouth, it hurt when my tongue touched it, and food would get stuck in between the expander and the roof of my mouth. Braces already ruined the joy of food. I don't need more crevices for food to get stuck. Not to mention how annoying it is for your tongue to know exactly where the food is stuck, and then you reach in and your finger can't find it. The food is stuck right there. Where? It's right here. Ow! I can't find it. Ah! This phenomenon is known as the tongue finger disconnect, and I hate it. Oh, I thought I thought he was gonna have a scientific name for that. This is called tungula fingulaitis. <laughs> I thought he was gonna have a real word, but okay. Yeah, I, you know what? I'm gonna take a second. I'm gonna take a second real quick to be grateful 
that my orthodontistry days are over. I did have braces for about two years, maybe two years and four months, something like that. And I, I just take it for granted now. I completely take all of this for granted, but you guys get to appreciate it uh, every day. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, I forget all about like how awful it was to have braces. It's like, I mean, it's not the end of the world. Like you do get used to it and it is for a good cause, <laughs> I guess. But yeah, I'm just so used to my teeth being like mostly all good now. I think I had braces from like 11 to 13. I had a retainer before that to like bring my teeth back. Cause I had like my two front teeth kind of stuck out a little bit in front. And then, so we, we brought those back first then we had the braces. I also used the elastics and stuff. And now because of the elastics, I have some fangs. Just kidding, I don't think that's what they did, but it's possible because now those two teeth come down a little bit more. And I hate it. Eventually, two painful years had passed. They took all the metal out of my mouth and I felt like... <laughs> Demon my souls. shackles were broken, I was free, and I could finally eat popcorn again. In fact, one day I was I didn't eating miss popcorn. It. I only had one baby tooth left, and the adult tooth was coming in under it, making it loose. Let's go. I sat there eating popcorn, and I ooh, accidentally ooh, chewed ooh, on an ooh, unpopped ooh, kernel. Ooh, ooh. Ah! The baby tooth had broken in half ah! between the adult tooth and the kernel. But I couldn't let that calcium go to waste. So good and tasty. I finally had all my adult teeth and my <gasps> dental troubles were over. Or so I thought. A year later, my family moved. I thought I was in the clear until mom took me to oh, another no. orthodontist. Oh, yeah, no. it doesn't look like the first set of braces really did anything. Oh, I mean, no. only an idiot would put braces on baby teeth. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would recommend getting oh, new no. braces now, now that the adult teeth are Oh, in. no. <laughs> He's short circuiting! That's what I was saying! Why did we even put the first set of braces on? Basically, I was gonna have to have braces on for four years! Wait, wait, wait. He said, gonna have to have them on for four years. So, there's still hope. There's still hope that he did not have them on for the whole four years. But yeah, I mean, what was that first dentist thinking? Just allow your grill to be messed up until all your baby teeth are gone, you know? You shouldn't be making any like changes until like your baby teeth are gone and your adult teeth are in. I that was absurd. Poor Bryson. Because the first braces didn't actually do anything. Bryson, uh... I think we should do it. I want you to have a pretty smile. The thing is, his mom has to has to face the reality of this situation and read these lines, <laughs> these lines of things that she actually said and say it with the same conviction, even if she regrets it. That's a beautiful moment right there. That is a beautiful moment. I want you to have a pretty smile. I think you should do it too, Bryson. Because make a lot of money if you do. Guys. My smile is fine. Well, let's look at the x-rays. You have a pretty pronounced overbite that causes a lot of problems later in life. You should be grateful that your mom wants to pay to fix your teeth. You kind of have like a Bart Simpson lip going on and we would want to get that fixed. Wow. Not only, not only are they signing up for four years of pain, but they are just relentlessly <laughs> roasting him beforehand. Yeah, unfortunately, we're gonna do this thing where you're gonna be in pain and dealing with this inconvenient metal in your mouth for about four years. So that's the worst. Um, by the way, also, you look like Bart Simpson. You goofy face looking fool. You goofy overbite looking donkey boy. Dead. You know, like, come on, what are y'all doing? I remember when I was going to get my retainer and, and I had like the two front teeth like slightly forward and like the orthodontist was like, oh yeah, I, I bet you get made fun of at school a lot. I'm like, well, actually not really, but thanks. Thank you so much, doctor. Oh yeah, your, your ugly two front buck teeth sticking out. Yeah, I bet, I bet the kids roast you and call you Chip and Dale every day. Actually, no, you're the first. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, doctor. Let me, let me give you money now. Wow, what a great relationship this has been. <laughs> 
This guy literally body shamed me into getting braces again by comparing me to a cartoon character. <laughs> but I am a cartoon character, so why am I even wearing these? I can just draw myself with perfect teeth. True. True. And to correct my <clears throat> Bart Simpson lip, I had to not only get another palette expander, but also oh. rubber bands to pull my lower jaw forward. So, how was your week, bud? I hate you. So, two more for? horrendous years of pain ensued. Cranking my teeth apart, wearing rubber bands, and getting food stuck in my teeth all over again. It couldn't come fast enough, but the day finally came. I was completely free. Hmm, yeah, I'm noticing that these teeth are rather small. What we could do is remove them and move all these teeth forward to fill its place. At this moment, pure malice and rage boiled up inside me. I refuse to be imprisoned again. Shut up! Shut up! What? I already had them on for four years. I'm done. I won't let you body shame me into giving you more of my mom's money so you can torture me for another two years. So we ran out and two of my teeth are a little smaller than they should be. Yeah, you show them, Bryson. You done. You, the man decides when he is done. So the rubber bands, are, are, are the rubber bands to move the bottom teeth forward? I thought the doctor was just giving me my fangs. <laughs> I thought they were just making my fangs grow in properly, and that was all it was for. I wish you could see them when I talk normally. When I talk normally, they never come through, and I ain't gonna just start talking like this. Yeah, doing that and then another four years. Come on, man. Nah, now you got a unique smile and it's ill. It's ill. As long as Bryson's happy, that's what matters, dog. So we ran out and two of my teeth are a little smaller than they should be. Oh no, what a nightmare. I'd much rather keep them as is than do this. <laughs> I was finally safe. The orthodontist couldn't hurt me anymore. Yes. I had a nice smile, and I never yes. had to go back to the orthodontist again. You're safe. But then, my mom got braces and a palate expander because she wasn't happy with her smile. I guess the body shaming worked. And oh, soon no. after getting them, she said, I was not sympathetic enough to you guys when you wore these. These hurt. Do you yeah. think I was lying? Of course they hurt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bryson is just getting vindicated right now. He's writing this script, and he is getting his mom <laughs> to apologize to him again in the script. What an incredible moment. What an incredible, th I mean, Bryson deserves this. After years of pain, years of pain, he deserves this vindication of having this conversation take place again. These hurt. Did you think I was lying? Of course they hurt. But now we both have great smiles. Oh. I guess pain really is beauty. It takes a lot of work to look this good. But at least I it's agree. over now. Hey, by the way, I just scheduled your wisdom teeth removal surgery. No, no, <laughs> no, no! Wisdom teeth. Why do they call them wisdom teeth? Those teeth are obviously stupid idiots because they're going the wrong freaking way. They're stupid idiots. I, yeah, true. I think, yeah, wi my wisdom teeth removal was my final teeth dentistry, orthodontistry thing that happened in my life. Also, let's get this white screen off of me. It's a little aggressive. I'm going frame by frame. There we go. Yeah, wisdom teeth. I don't know when they're supposed to come in, but mine came in when I was like 16, 17. And yeah, I had to stay home from school for like a couple days because I was on the pain medication because it hurts so much when you get rid of your wisdom teeth. But yeah, I got my wisdom teeth removed. I feel like there's not enough gum for wisdom teeth to have existed. I don't know. I can't I can't imagine having teeth that far back. I mean, it would be incredible to be completely honest, but would probably have been a nightmare. Vestigial structures, useless body parts, are so stupid, and some of them actually hurt you. Your appendix can blow up and kill you for no reason. Mine almost did. <laughs> Meaning it did blow up what? and it almost ended me. So I agree. Your wisdom teeth sprout out of nowhere and ruin your other straight teeth. And don't even get me started on the tailbone. These things have no purpose. Huh? That's just bad character design. Tailbone? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, these dumb teeth were dooming me to another appointment with pain. I sat in the chair and I wanted to try and resist the sleep medication, but oh, it no. went more like this. Okay, this medication Count is gonna make you a little sleepy. <laughs> I can resist this easily. And you're done. Oh, what? Yay! 
Yeah, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Why would you want to resist it? I don't actually remember. Like, I think when I have had my teeth pulled, I don't think I was put to, maybe for my whiz, I think for, ah! This is making me cringe now to think about it. I think when I got my wisdom teeth pulled, I was put to sleep. When I've had my other teeth pulled, it's just the laughing gas, which makes everything feel like a deja vu. And everything sounds like the bridge of Whole Lot of Love by Led Zeppelin. Combine that part with the that's what it's like when you're on laughing gas. I can't say it's fun. <laughs> I can't say that. It's something. It's something. It, if I had to describe laughing gas, from my professional in my professional opinion, I would say um, <laughs> laughing gas is something. I hope that helps you understand um, what it's like. <laughs> and you're done. Oh, what? It seriously just felt like. Then my face swelled up and I lived on the couch for two weeks off mashed potatoes, applesauce, and ice cream. So, nice. it wasn't all bad. And that was my dental journey. It definitely hurt and there were some <clears throat> questionable decisions made, but at least that orthodontist can afford a pool in his backyard now. All in Good. all, I'm actually grateful to have nice teeth and I'm very lucky that my mom loved me enough to fix these chompers because my bite attack does way more damage now. <laughs> That is good. That's so good that you can do that. All right, before we get to our dental analysis, let's really quickly... <laughs> We're already subscribed, so there you go. If there's anything that we can learn from this dental procedure, one, uh, brush them things. Oh yeah, and there's teeth back here too. So brush those teeth too. Brush them tings. Don't eat too much candy. I don't eat candy at all. It, it doesn't excite me in any way. But if you eat a bunch of unhealthy stuff, brush your teeth even more, okay? Honestly, guys, if you if you watch me on a phone or something, you can brush your teeth while watching. Just keep keep the videos going and, and, and watch. Make some more fun. I brush for like four minutes every time. I know that may sound extreme, but I'm just chilling. I got a podcast on, a video, whatever. It's a cheat code. We, I didn't have that as a kid. I couldn't listen to fun vids as a kid while brushing my teeth. Anyways, Bryson has hit us with yet another slapperino. Thank you, Bryson, for taking us through this uh, saga of dentistry. We are forever indebted to you for your wonderful uh, story, uh, fun times. And people, if you are not subscribed to Haminations, here's his channel right here. Make sure you are subscribed. Him and his team did all the hard work. I'm just out here being goofy. Here is the entire playlist of Haminations reactions that we have done. If you have not seen all of the Haminations videos we've done, you have a lot of watching to do. Go check them out. Or here's a video that YouTube thinks you will like. I will see you here or I will see you there. Homies, I appreciate you. Peace.